So I did end up putting it together. Very nice figure, very gorgeous figure. Um, I think it's awesome. The paint is is very is a lot better than the than the Miracle Productions. The detail and everything on it is much better. It is smaller. It is a little bit lighter. Um, the thing about the die cast, I think Bandai does the die cast better because with uh, with die cast, you can add a lot of die cast, but then you have a bunch of connectors or small or moving pieces that you have plastic, and you add so much die cast, you end up stressing the uh, plastic pieces. So I think they weighted this fine, especially because there's so many small pieces to connect together that if every one of them was die cast, you would have a lot of small pieces connecting against plastic. So I think they, the way that they did this is fine. Um, yeah, this one is a lot larger. This one feels a lot more, or it looks like it was more inspired by the toy. They both have inspirations, obviously, from the, uh, inspiration rather, from the, the original toy, which is obvious. But this one, like the, uh, the feet not having the guards up front, which is, I think, is more accurate to the cartoon. And this is more accurate to the toy. Um, and the paint apps on this look a lot like the toy rather than the the cartoon where this seems to be um detailed like the cartoon the only my only gripes with this thing is one these things keep falling off easy they don't really clip on they just fall off other than that everything else is cool the only other thing that i have or i'm interested in knowing about is um on the box and in the directions it has the um yeah, it's not gonna. It has the hands turned, or the arms turned. And you see how that pops off? That's kind of annoying. But on the box and in the directions, it shows to turn the arms like that. And then you get your elbow bend because you see there's a fin right there. Um, it's, and you can see that's the way it shows to do it on the box as well as the directions. But so I looked at the cartoon. And in the cartoon, this is more accurate. Though the wheels are towards the body, and you see you got the side, the hands like that. With this one, when the the wheels are towards the body, you don't have an elbow bend. You can't use the elbow bend, so you have to turn the uh, wheels towards the back so you can use the elbow bend. But that doesn't seem to be accurate. Or as accurate as this one so I don't know I maybe somebody can mention that down below but um yeah it does tell you to turn these facing you know the front of the body so you can get the elbow bend and then you turn the hands like that but that doesn't seem to be accurate to the cartoon because when I'm watching the cartoon even the ones that band I just posted or they did just post on YouTube if you want to watch them the Die Ruger uh, episodes and they show the the wheels turn toward the body. I have, he doesn't actually have wheels in the cartoon, but they show it in this position. I, when he's fully formed, the, the wheels don't seem to be visible, um, which they did do a, a good job with hiding the wheels on this one by you know folding them towards the back. But it would have been cool to have the elbow bend right there so you could um, be more accurate to the cartoon. You can do it, but then you don't have the elbow bend because the fin is right here. And that's the way it connects. So I was trying to see if the, there was another way to do it, but no. If you want the elbow bend, you gotta you gotta turn these facing forward. So that's the only thing that I found. Uh, to, you know, I've just been messing with it for for a few minutes, but um, it's the only thing I found. Two things, rather, I found concerning about this one is these falling off, and that the the position of the arm seems to be inaccurate. Um, other than that, beautiful figure. Definitely pick it up. It's going to be a highly sought after one. I'm hoping the next thing they do is the, the DreamWorks um, Legendary Voltron, but I know a lot of people don't like that design. I love it. I think it fits perfectly in with the original Voltron, and I hope they would do that one. I know that wouldn't be a more difficult one to do, but I'm hoping.
hope to see that next. Well, anyway, thanks for watching.